Almost all video editing software gives you the option to convert a group of clips into kind of a subsequence within your main video editing timeline. And in Premiere, this is called a nested sequence. Your editing software might call it something different, but it all works pretty much the same way. I use nested sequences all the time while I'm editing my videos, and there's a lot more uses for them than you might actually realize. So in today's video, I wanted to show you a few of my favorite ways to use nested sequences to save myself a bunch of time while I'm editing. The first is probably the most obvious use for a nested sequence, and that's just to group multiple clips together for organizational purposes. If I make a tutorial that has kind of a short cinematic intro, at the beginning of it, I'll nest that into its own sequence to keep it separate from the rest of the video if I need to make changes to it. In the same way, when I'm editing a cinematic vlog, I'll take each location or day of that trip and make it into its own nested sequence so I can edit those different parts of the video individually. You can also apply this method if you need to take a group of clips and apply the same effect to all of them. Most of the time you could do this by just using an adjustment layer, but if you have an effect like, for example, an RGB split where you have to duplicate the layer to create it, then an adjustment layer won't do that, and that's where you can use this technique to save yourself some time. In addition to nesting a group of clips together, you could also use a nested sequence to isolate an individual shot. This way you can make changes to it and use a bunch of adjustment layers without cluttering your main timeline. Nesting a single clip like this also makes it a lot easier to use Warp Stabilizer. If you've used Premiere, you know Warp is super useful, but also incredibly, incredibly picky. But if you nest the shot, this pretty much fixes it and makes it to where Warp Stabilizer will agree with it. And finally, let's talk about my favorite way to use a nested sequence, and that is to nest a long clip before making adjustments to it. For example, for this tutorial, I'm going to take this footage that I'm filming right now where I'm talking to the camera, color grade it, and then chop it up into the individual lines and add all those jump cuts in. If I were to do that, and then I decided that I wanted to go back and change the color grade, maybe desaturate this greenish blue in the background, I would have to go through and make that adjustment to every single clip. So in order to avoid that, before I edit this clip, I'm going to nest it, then do that color grade, and then come back to my main timeline and cut up that nested sequence to make those jump cuts. This way, if I want to change something, instead of going back to those individual cut up clips, I can just go into that nested sequence, make the change, and it applies to all of them. This is something I use for audio as well. So before I edit my audio in Audition, I'll nest it and then duplicate the audio layer so that if I decide that I messed something up in Audition and want to go back later and fix it, I can just delete my main track and try again with that duplicated layer. This way, if you mess something up, you basically have a save point where you can go back and fix it without it being too late and you having to go back and change all of those individual clips. But that is all I have to share with you today. I hope that you've learned something new from this video and picked up a new technique to try out in your own work. And if you did, do feel free to share your support by leaving a like on the video, sharing it with your friends, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload two new filmmaking tutorials every single week. But that's all for now. Keep creating and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.